Hi friends, Radhika Ravikumar here. So in this tutorial, we'll see what are uh, triggers in uh, PL SQL program. And uh, first of all, the first point in triggers is uh, where triggers are nothing but reusable um, PL SQL program. That is, uh, whenever we create a trigger, uh, it is stored as a database object and it can be used again and again. Okay, and uh, triggers um, cannot be uh, called on its own that is uh, whenever some uh, data uh, database event occurs at that time only this trigger will get activated based on the database event that is we, we can we can call the trigger only implicitly but not explicitly that's what it means so whenever the database event occurs such as um, dml or ddl operations ddl statements uh, are executed at that time these triggers are automatically uh, you know uh, gets activated whenever we create the triggers on their respective tables and also the triggers uh, on which you are creating uh, on table sorry on tables on which you are creating the triggers are uh, mainly called as um, triggering table okay and finally uh, the the any number of uh, triggers can be created triggers can be created on a table on a single table then uh, we cannot use a uh, uh, select statement for uh, you know just for the select statement uh, the, the trigger will not get activated that's what it means so no select statement and uh, yeah i guess yeah th this much is the points that we need to remember when we are creating a trigger first of all a trigger is nothing but a reusable program pl sql program which can be uh, used again and again as it will be stored as a database object and uh, the trigger cannot be called on its own that is uh, we need to implicitly call it by uh, using the database events uh, by using these dml and ddl uh, statements like you know we know drop create then update, delete, and all. So we need to use that uh, DML or DDL uh, statements in order to activate these triggers. Then um, table on which uh, you are creating the triggers uh, is mainly called as a triggering table, and any number of triggers can be created on a single table. And finally, no select statement, uh, you know, will activate the trigger. Okay. So next, coming to the advantages of triggers. Advantages are. Um, Mainly, uh, triggers are um, can help us to take the automatic backup of data for an uh, update or delete. Okay, automatic backup can be taken for the update or delete, and also uh, the triggers will help us to track or trace the unwanted uh, deletions or updations and all so when we have a data when we are having a database we are very uh, you know the data data will be very sensitive in it and we cannot uh, simply uh, you know all these unwanted deletion updations uh, we cannot simply delete everything so at that time we can use these, these triggers whenever you are updating and deleting these things the uh, the trigger will get activated and those uh, whatever records are getting deleted or any number of uh, record that is getting updated all those record details details will be stored in some other table you can you know make it in such a way so you can easily track or trace the unwanted deletion and updations and all so this is the main advantage and uh, the next will be the trigger will help us to implement the uh, complex business rules uh, which were not possible using the constraints so implementation so implement um, complex business rules uh, which are not possible by constraints ok so these are the uh, you know, little bit main advantages of triggers so first is you can take an automatic backup using these triggers uh, for the data whenever we are doing this updation and deletion and you can also track or trace the unwanted deletion and updation and also you can uh, implement the complex business rules which are not possible by the constraints 
So these are the points that we need to remember before starting with the trigger program. So hope this was helpful. Uh, we'll see in the next tutorial how what are the types of triggers that are available and as well as the uh, components that are there in the types of triggers. And next we'll see the uh, what are row level and statement level triggers. And uh, so we'll see those things in the next tutorial. Hope this tutorial was helpful and uh, thank you very much for watching.